Yeah, I just lost track of time. And I was about to start breakfast. Uh, our garden has turned out pretty good this year. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I've just been really busy working. How are you? I want to see your garden. Oh, I could take you out there. But um, uh, a big batch of beets that just came in. And uh, my wife's family is in town. We were going to cook up some, roast some beets and make some beet greens uh, and some fish sausage. So, but this has been a really good crop. Let me, let me switch the camera around real quick for you. So this is a little small. Wow. Yeah, but we got some, wow. we got some Brussels sprouts. Well, they haven't quite kicked in yet, but some Brussels sprouts. And we got some really big beets that are just popping up. And uh, we got some carrots. And we got some, some Swiss chard and some cucumbers and peppers in the back. Yep, we're in Minnesota. Isn't it cold in Minnesota? Well, those are really big beets. I'm surprised you have those. Uh, my wife has a green thumb. I'm from the state of Virginia, and I found oh, it's a, a lot easier to grow things here in Minnesota. It's a really rich soil, as opposed to the red clay that we have. Yeah, red clay can be difficult. I moved to Kansas, but I lived before in Colorado, so I know what you're talking about. The soil is just like really soft. Yeah, it's a rich black soil. Um, you should definitely give it a try. I'll say the season, the growing season is shorter, so you can't really put anything outdoors until almost June, but Great soil. Do you have a greenhouse that you put things in? We started with seedlings, though, and we just put them in the basement. Seedlings, yes, okay. Seedlings. I always had those in Colorado. Yeah, do you have a favorite vegetable? Oh, I was just asking if you had a favorite vegetable. Can you ask again? The, the interpreter froze on the screen. Brussels sprouts are my favorite. It's my number one favorite vegetable. I love to put them with olive oil. How do you like to cook them? Different seasonings and just with olive oil. It's so good. Uh, me too. What's your favorite vegetable? Um, I've really gotten into kale recently. I really struggle with the texture of kale. Yeah, I have to saute it down real good. Can you tell me the secret? How do you cook kale? You need to tell me your secret. Um, I, 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 don't I, know. Cut, I cut the stems off. So I, I de-rib them. 
and then I, I cut them into really small bite-sized chunks, like one inch by one inch. Um, and then once you toss it in olive oil, it cooks down really nice. It's kind of like spinach, the way that it cooks down. It's just really condensed. Um, yeah. What do you cook it with? What do you, what do you cook kale with? Um, so we started a real heavy vegetarian diet. Um, but we eat a lot of like frozen pizzas or cheese pizzas. And so we'll chop some kale up uh, and just like let that crisp up on top. Or we'll just have it sauteed if for breakfast with a side of egg and a uh, piece of toast. What's your other, just another favorite food that you like? Oh. A different kind of food. The tough one? I like I like a lot of Asian cuisines, so I like I like Thai food, Chinese food, Indian food. Um, I really like spice and kind of just different ways of. Uh, yeah, I love spicy food too. I like. Sriracha. It's like the rooster sauce. But I put it on everything. Okay. I had to get away from sriracha. Um, similar to like Tabasco sauce. I used to really like those. But then the heat started to overwhelm the flavor. So I stepped down to like the Tabasco Chipotle flavor. I like both. It really just depends. Depends on my mood, I guess. Yeah. I enjoy Thai food. Oh yeah. And pho. I like that too. I really like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as you say, there's not a lot of Vietnamese restaurants. What do you like cooking? What are you good at cooking? Yeah, Vietnamese. Say in Minnesota? Yeah, I can see that there's not. No, but it's, it's, it's probably my favorite. Uh, post drinking food and here too yeah we don't really have a lot helps to rehydrate what's your favorite food to cook when you're at home. Your favorite thing to cook? Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think on that one for a second. Do you, do you have a favorite thing to cook? Oh, I vary. I vary with what I like to cook. I really like Mexican food. Oh, I'm really not that great at cooking Asian food. But Mexican food, I, I'm pretty good at. I went to Mexico uh, with family uh, during the summertime. And I make, can make, learn how to make corn tortillas. You just basically put them on the fryer. And then you put plantains in them, mashed plantains. Just like a little bit 
a little amount inside the tortillas. And then you fold them up and then you deep fry these tortillas. When you're finished, put different different things on top. Whatever you really want. Oh, they're good though. Yeah, I, I had um, I had a roommate from Honduras one time who showed me you can kind of slice plantains a little thicker, almost about a half an inch, and you fry them on both sides and then you smash them. sides you take a spoon or something and just smash them thin or yeah it's like a banana like a dessert with cinnamon and honey I definitely the interpreter missed Too bad. that segment um I like to make pancakes for the day now that we're talking about um a little different, and I guess the bananas made me think of it, but both like uh, banana stuffed or sweet potato pancakes would be my favorite. Mmm, that sounds good. I made pancakes last week on Sunday. It was for dinner. I made them for dinner. I did chocolate chips, and we did blueberries. Mmm. They were good. Yeah. We've been talking about a breakfast for dinner night, but the closest we got was cereal, so it was a little disappointing. What kind of cereal? My favorite is, uh, I'm a big kid, so I like, like a big bowl of Captain Crunch. Uh, like to let all the syrup and sugar just turn into the milk. Um, Captain Crunch, I like that too. Uh, what's the other one? The name? It's it's been a while. I haven't had it in a long time. Puffs. Peanut butter puffs. I, I know Captain Crunch, but I forgot the other one. Uh, you can't go wrong with peanut butter. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Got you. I was gonna say you can't you can't go wrong with peanut butter. I've started to add it into a lot of things. Um, so like we'll do uh, yogurt parfaits some mornings, just some granola and some yogurt and a little bit of honey. But I've always I take a I take a tablespoon and just eat it with a tablespoon of peanut butter. That and my cereals and my ice cream. I call it a peanut butter spoon and it just fixes everything. A spoon. I'm going to try that. I definitely need to try that peanut butter spoon. Do you have any favorite desserts? Yeah. My favorite is anything with peanut butter or anything with chocolate. Anything that has those two things, I will love it and eat it. Now that now that summer has come around, we've taken to doing like cantaloupe bowls. So we'll cut a cantaloupe in half and gut it out and then fill it with ice cream. And a little honey. 
Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you just... Do you chop up the cantaloupe, or... Do you no, just you just it eat it right out of the cantaloupe skin. I really have to try that. That sounds really good. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. I eat keto ice cream. The keto kind. So I have to try that. It sounds like a good idea. Yeah. What favorite? What's your favorite snacks? Favorite snack. Um. Gosh, I pick it about everything. I like I like to just have a handful of nuts, um, and some sweet tea, or Dr Pepper. A southern Southern boy, so. You have a handful of peanuts and some Dr. Pepper, and then an all-day snack. I got nuts from the farmer's market. They're cinnamon honey. And they're oven roasted. Mm, they were so good. They were expensive. But I ate them in an hour. I ate the entire can in just one hour. Uh, have you, have you, do you roast uh, pumpkin seeds? Yeah, I've cooked them before. Have you? Do you? Yeah, like them? I've really taken to uh, flavoring and roasting pumpkin seeds in the in the autumn. Um, both like occasion, might try this cinnamon, uh. Yeah, definitely different flavors. You can even put it with soy sauce. There's so many different things you could do. Soy sauce, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, you can. I've done it before. I also live really like back on popcorn. Um, we just buy the popcorn seeds and uh, cook them on the uh, stove top. Um, use a little bit of peanut oil. Oh, yeah, popcorn. Put some Parmesan salt. Parmesan cheese, like some shredded Parmesan, fresh, fresh grated Parmesan, and a little Old Bay. Oh yeah, delicious. Oh, That's neat. I, I usually uh, put nutritional yeast. On top, 